Okay, here's another here's another um review of Speed. Now Speed, I just watched. It was only about a half hour, and it was an IMAX movie. You could tell the narrator, the way he spoke, and all that. You could tell it was meant for an IMAX movie. Let's just say this is the problem. I um, well, not, let me tell you the good stuff. The good picture was extremely good. I showed you all the fast speeds of planes and stuff, but it was rushed. When you have something on the back which says that the film was 30 minutes long, which it was true, then you got a real issue there. Like, why are IMAX movies, like, back in the day when IMAX was all mainly 3D stuff, everything was like an hour or less. A lot of the, you know, the biggest stuff. Once in a while, you'd get a film that would go in there, but for the most part, it's 3D. Now it's all films without 3D, mostly. Um, except for Titanic and Avatar and stuff like that. Um, let me just say that this was, too, you know, like, I'm going to say it again. It was too damn short, and going to the IMAX to see one of these movies must have been a pain in the ass. You must have had to spend a gazillion bucks on this. Just to watch it in the IMAX. Because, you know, IMAX tickets are a lot more expensive than the typical theater. Even if people think it's only a small difference, it's still more money. So you spend more money to go to something that's not even an hour long. And um, I don't know for sure if this was in the theater. But I know for sure they were very... When I went, there were very short IMAX films there. And people... Yeah, I remember going to a Space Shuttle one once. And it wasn't the one I that I just, that I, I just bought. And I remember... When I'm watching the Space Shuttle one, it wasn't even an hour. Oh, it's time to go already. I'm saying, what the hell? You know, I just got here. And I remember once I got to a show from the school. I think it was for that, too, for the Space Shuttle. You know, school takes you on a field trip, and the film's only an hour. No wonder why they take you there, because they can't take you to anything longer. Um, overall, though, I think it was a pretty good film. It could have it could have done better if it had maybe another at least another 20 or 30 minutes to it, just to make it a little more attractive. I've got to remember, um, they don't even have to use CAV. I understand they want to use the higher quality because it was filmed in IMAX, but just give me the regular regular CLV, one hour on one side of the disc, and add another 20 minutes to it, and everything's great. Unfortunately, that's not how things work. All right, bye-bye.